working with Topology in ArcGIS Pro. What is a topology? A topology is a tool that helps you identify topological errors in your GIS data. In the Assessor's Office, this can be used to identify gaps and overlaps of parcel lines. Many gaps and overlaps in parcel data are minor and can be adjusted to have a cleaner looking map. Some gaps and overlaps are due to errors in the legal description and should be researched and addressed carefully due to the possible legal ramifications to tax payments, boundary disputes, and other circumstances. This video should not be considered legal advice. If you are unsure if a topological error will create a legal situation, consult with a registered land surveyor or your legal counsel. In this video, we are going to address small, cosmetic topological errors that should not affect the taxable acreage of a parcel. Topology Workflow Let's demonstrate a typical workflow that utilizes a topology with rules set to identify gaps and overlaps of parcels. Here you can see an area with parcels that have a green and red line surrounding them. The green lines show where topological errors are located, but have been marked as an exception. The red lines show unresolved topological errors. First off, let's perform a lot line adjustment to demonstrate how the topology works. Here we have drawn out the new boundary line for three different parcels using the Traverse tool. We need to move the old boundary to the new one that we have drawn. Traditionally, this would involve splitting parcels along the construction lines and then merging parts according to the change that needs to take place. All that work has the potential to create small gaps and overlaps unless you are being very careful. To start editing our parcels, we first need to select the ones that need to be changed. Next on the Edit tab, Manage Edits Groups, the Topology dropdown, we can see a topology is already set. Now with the active selection on the three parcels, select the Edit Vertices tool. The Edit Vertices tool should appear. Notice that there are two tabs at the top, Features and Edges. These only appear when you are editing a topology. Click the Edges tab, since that is the one that specifically makes changes to a topology. Next, hover over the southern common vertices. Notice how when you move your mouse around, you can highlight lines or nodes? Highlight the southern node and left click once. The edit vertices should now show all the layers where there will be a change. Next, ensure that the stretch proportionally and stretch topology are turned off. These can be useful, but you need to be very mindful when they are used, as they can create a lot of problems if you don't use them correctly. Now, left-click and drag the visible node that we chose to the northwestern traverse line boundary. Snap to the vertices and release the left mouse button. Press Finish. All three parcels have now moved their common boundary that intersect at that vertex. Next, move the northern node to the northwest, like the previous step. Select the node, drag the node and snap to the other vertex. Press Finish. We've now completed this lot line adjustment. Notice how the dirty area polygons has appeared over the area we've been working? This is telling us that we haven't checked the topology for this area since we made edits. Let's check to see if we have created any topological errors. First, back out of the Edit Vertices tool to restore the appearance of your parcels. From the Edit tab, Manage Edits Group, select Error Inspector. This is where you can see all the topological errors that are visible in your current extent. To check for topological errors, select Validate. This will check the area visible in your current extent for topological errors. No red areas or lines have appeared after validating. This means that we made the lot line adjustment without creating any gaps or overlaps. So now let's intentionally make a topological error and then check the topology. I'm going to reshape this parcel and create a gap. The dirty area polygon will show up. Now validate the topology. You can see a red line has appeared now. Select the red line so that it turns yellow and review it in the Error Inspector. See that the rule in the table says that must not have gaps was flagged. On the right of the Error Inspector, you can see a map of the area with the gap. At the top of the map, click the Fix tab. Here you can create a feature, mark it as an exception, or clear an exception. Let's see what the Create Feature fix does. By clicking Create Feature, you can see that the gap was automatically filled in with a new polygon. This may or may not be the desired fix for this solution. So let's press undo and fix this error manually. You can close the error inspector. Now let's select the parcel and move the boundary back to where it's supposed to be. Validate the topology again. 
If you fix the topology error, the red line should disappear. Okay, so that's basically how this tool works. Next, let's look at how you create a topology. How to create a topology. First off, when creating a topology, you must have the standard or advanced level license for ArcGIS Pro. Next, you will need to have your parcel data in an enterprise geodatabase or a file geodatabase. Within those databases, you will need to have a feature dataset that houses your parcel data feature class. Here, you can see that I have a file geodatabase with a feature dataset called test. Within that, I have a feature class called parcel topology test. To create a topology, right click on the feature dataset that houses your parcel data, in this instance, the test feature dataset. Select new topology. The create topology wizard will appear. On the first page of the wizard, select the feature class you want to take part in the topology. You can have more than one if you maintain road center lines, right of way, or any other related data sets that play into the parcel topology, but let's keep things simple. Check parcel topology test. Press next. Now we need to define the rules of our topology. Unless you have a more advanced topology, you will only need to set rules for gaps and overlaps. Add a new rule for your parcel layer that must not have gaps. Add another rule that must not have overlaps for the same layer. Press next. Leave all the default settings here unless you specifically have tolerances that you want to use. Press finish. The topology should now appear in the feature dataset. Now, add the topology to your map. Once you have it in your map, you will notice that there are no red and green lines like we saw earlier. This is because the topology has not yet been validated. Let's run a validation, but on all the parcels, not just the ones in our visible extent. Do this by right-clicking on the topology in the catalog pane and select Validate. You will now have the topological errors marked. Notice that the Edit tab, Manage Edits group, the drop-down shows No Topology. Change that to Test Topology. You will also notice that there is an option to have topology in the map. This is a holdover from ArcMap and earlier. It's not recommended to use the topology in the map since much of the functionality of a geodatabase topology will be lost. Now let's open the error inspector. You can see that there are a lot of errors. Zoom into an area and notice how the errors in the error inspector window filter only to those in your current extent. Select one of the errors. This one is showing that there is a gap all around it. This is not a problem since it's a public right away surrounding this parcel. Go to the Fix tab on the right and mark it as an exception. Clear your selection and you will now see that it has turned green. This is a great way to flag all the exceptions in your data and visually know that it's not a problem. Now I've gone ahead and marked most of the errors of exceptions. Let's zoom into some of the remaining errors and see what the trouble is. On the far east of the parcels, you can see a red error line. If you select it in the error inspector, it says that there is a gap as the rule violation. It may not be obvious where the gap is at. Zoom in close to see if you can spot the issue. You might want to change your parcel symbology so that it's easier to see gaps by having a fill. Now we can see that there's a gap. Let's use the Create Feature option to fix this gap. A blank polygon has been created. Now we can merge this into the parcel to the south so the topology is clean. Zoom out and turn on the Dirty Areas polygon. Validate your data with the dirty polygon contained in your extent. The dirty area polygon should disappear if you were zoomed out far enough and the error should disappear as well. Now let's go to another error to the north. This one is listed as an overlap in the error inspector and has two segments. Let's make parcels the only selectable layer and see what's happening here. Select the parcels included in this area. You will see there is an overlap. If you measure this overlap, it's about 8 inches in the real world. You will need to read the deed carefully and determine how much the acreage will change for either parcel on this one. If making this change doesn't create any major issues, go ahead and make the change. Always consult with your assessor, surveyor, or legal counsel if you're unsure. Okay, so let's fix this overlap. On the Fix tab, notice we have additional options. We can create a feature, merge, or remove an overlap. In this instance, I'm going to merge. The merge dialog will appear, and you will need to choose which parcel will take in the overlap. I'm going to do the same for the other segment. Validate your topology. We fix the overlap. Keep in mind you can fix errors a number of ways. 
You can use the Fix tab, which doesn't always solve the issue and can make it worse if you're not paying attention. You can use the Modify Features tools like Edit Vertices, Reshape, Merge, Split, Align Features, Align Edge, among others. Each of these tools behaves in a unique way, so take time to read the Esri documentation on them. Practice is going to help you too, so start correcting your topology errors, and you will get better at it as time goes on. Thanks for watching this quick introduction to using a topology with partial data in ArcGIS Pro.